Some cancers and treatments will affect people's fertility. The risk of infertility will depend on the type of cancer and the type of treatment that you received. I have no idea whether I'm infertile or not. Certainly I know that, you know, the little guys that I've got on ice, the, the cavalry so to speak, are, um, are all good. So hopefully it won't come down to that, but I've done, I've done all the right things there. So. I do know that uh, the level of fertility that uh, I have now and had immediately after treatment was very, very low. And again, that was something that was, um, I suppose, a cost of getting through it. Women who have some types of chemotherapy may suffer permanent or temporary menopause. Permanent menopause is more common in women over the age of 40. Menopausal symptoms can include hot flushes, mood changes, feeling tired, and loss of concentration. Relaxation may help to manage the effects of menopause. If the symptoms are severe, speak with your doctor about ways to manage them. Some people try natural therapies, but there may be side effects. There is evidence that some, but not all, natural therapies may be effective. Speak with your oncologist or GP before starting a natural therapy. I had a couple of um, symptoms that I went back to talk to the doctor about thinking, oh yes, this is menopause, this is happening now. And that's when he referred me on to the gynaecologist and that's when the diagnosis of cancer occurred. And having, then going in and having a radical hysterectomy meant menopause started immediately. With chemotherapy, it sent me immediately into menopause. That had lots of effects on me. Um, oh, I used to get hot flushes like you've no idea, you know, like I'd be sitting there and next minute I'd be on fire and, and I'd wake up probably four or five times a night just drenched, literally wet with sweat. I learnt to dress in, in layers so that when I was feeling cold I could pile them on and as soon as I had a hot flush I'd start peeling things off. Lots of cold water I used to carry around with me. I learnt not to drink, eat really spicy foods because sometimes that would make it worse. My hormones were just going crazy too which would account for a lot of the emotions that I felt during that time. A um, bit of a, I always call it an emotional roller coaster really, you know, one minute you're up there, next minute you're down there. I was very reluctant to try any of the hormone treatment because sometimes um, the hormones can exacerbate what I had. So I wanted to go on to some natural products if, to see whether that would help. I spoke about it with um, one of my doctors and she suggested some natural therapies and things like that. I'm still really undecided whether that happened, helped or hindered, I'm not really sure. And then I went off the herb replacement and I just left it and then they'd sort of come back and I'd think, well will I try again or will I just persevere and I was pretty tired of taking tablets so I just persevered. In the end I actually spoke with um, the medical oncologist about it and she said well there's just no reason to put up with that and I've been given some medication which um, really helps. 